Good morning guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. Sorry I didn't get to vlog last week, I just kind of wanted a break from, you know, filming everything that I got up to because I was just really busy trying to organise my kit and everything for all my clients on the weekend. Um, so I kind of just filmed that salon vlog instead. I kind of want to make this video more around my keto diet. So I'll be filming some of my favourite recipes um, that I eat throughout the day. Um, so yeah. I don't really have that much planned this week. I have a wedding this Sunday, which I'll probably vlog. Um, clients in the salon Friday and Saturday, and then throughout the week, I'll probably just be filming sit-down videos. So nothing too exciting. But yeah, I'll make this vlog mainly about my keto and what I eat throughout the days. I'm going to go pick up a parcel from Princess Polly, go check my P.O. box, and yeah. I just went to my P.O. box, so I thought I would unbox some of the parcels that I got. I ordered the new um, Hidden Hills key glasses because my ones broke. Oh my god, why do they put all this shit like in an apple? Oh my god. Some people say they like this style better than these ones, but I'll be the judge of that. Oh, I do like this style. It does look very like, what are they called? Like visor. Yeah, I don't mind them. I think I still do like these ones. They look a little bit more girly. I'm just not sure about like this bit. They're probably the closest I'll ever get to these. So they'll have to do. Oh, real techniques. Oh my God, just what I need. That's amazing. So I just got their enhanced eye set. Oh, I got two of them. Advanced eye set and then their blush brush and then some beauty blenders. Well, one beauty blender. Thanks, guys. All right, I'm off to do some grocery shopping for this week because I have no food. I'm fasting till about 12 o'clock every day. So if you guys don't know what fasting is, it's basically where you don't eat for a certain period of time. So I try and fast for at least like 13 to 16 hours um, a day. Apparently fasting um, really helps with keto. So I've been trying to do that every day um, or well most days. So this is everything I got from the shops. Um, this isn't a week's worth, it's just stuff that I needed. So I just have some thigh fillet, some meatballs because they're on sale, I'll make them tonight. I found this low carb and low sugar um, sauce so I can make um, bolognese with it. So I might make bolognese and meatballs with zucchini noodles tonight. Um, I got some of my favorite almond milk, some tomato sauce, low sugar. I want to try this. It is a salted caramel almond milk. I might make my coffee with it now and tell you guys how I like it. I love these for snacks. They're just roasted seaweed. They're so good and really low in carbs. Um, some bacon, peanut butter, feta, cos lettuce for salads, parmesan cheese. I got some of my fave mayo, baby spinach, egg whites. Um, I wanted to try this coffee because it's apparently good for you. Um, this teriyaki chicken stir fry um, and these spaghetti things. I haven't tried these. I've tried the rice ones and they're all right. They kind of just taste like rubber to be honest, but um, it's low carb. Um, thickened cream and then just some citric acid and gelatine powder because I want to make lollies, sour lollies because I saw a, um, a video on Facebook on it. Oh, and some almond meal. So, yes, that is my groceries for the next couple days. I'm going to make some of this um, coffee that I got today, so I'm going to, I might just put a little bit of hot water because I want to try that salted caramel um, almond milk that I got. Oh, it's so thick and nice. Per serving, one gram of carbs and 0 0.7 grams of sugar, which is pretty good. So this is the brand. The only thing that's bad about it is it's $6 compared to like $3 for just like a normal one. I use this coconut oil. I use about a teaspoon. I just use these free range eggs from Coles. And I use this bacon, so I have two slices of that. The feta I use is this one as well, it's just the Coles brand one. Oh my god. It smells like coffee, but it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna pour 
the salted caramel almond milk. That is so sweet. I don't know if it's the coffee that tastes off or the, like, usually stuff that is sugar-free have heaps of sweeteners in it to make it sweet. I might just add some of my Makona. <laughs> just add, like, a little bit of that because I can't even taste coffee, and I love the taste of coffee. I might have to try it with um just normal almond milk and see if I like it. All right, I'm going to put my bacon on. this over the top so it doesn't splatter everywhere. I just finished my bacon, put it on the plate. I'm going to crack two eggs on here. I'm just going to leave that there to cook and I like to sprinkle some feta over the top. I really like how the bottom of the eggs turn out because of like the fat from the bacon. It kind of turns out really, really crispy and nice. So I just pretty much just let that cook all the way through. I don't turn it over or anything, but I'll sprinkle feta on it and then that is literally it. Half an avocado two slices of bacon and then two eggs sunny side up. I'll leave all the macros and stuff on the screen as well. So I've just added the feta cheese on top and I just decided to cut up three cherry tomatoes just on the side. I'm going to try and make some bacon and egg cups later. I'm um, just to make like mornings a bit easier so I don't have to cook this like every time. The coffee tastes a lot better with the Makona <laughs> in it. So this is the app that I use to track all of my macros. So it's called Carb Manager. This is just another day. Um, and so every day I try to go under 21 grams of carbs. I try to stay under 20 actually um, of net carbs. And my total fats are 129 and 104 of protein. So 21 grams of carbs and under. I'm on 15,000 calories a day. Um, and then yeah, so you're going from net carbs not total carbs So this is what the app is and it just lets you put in everything. So this meal is 466 calories and it has a total of four grams of net carbs. So that's not actually the almond milk that I use It's a different brand um, But I put in my almond milk two rashes of bacon two large eggs feta and half an avocado and i'll probably add my little cherry tomatoes but that's just mainly what the app is it just keeps you on track so you don't go over your carbs per day so i'm gonna make some bacon and egg cups so i can have them for breakfast i'll probably just have like two of them um so yeah i'm gonna just make some bacon first this is just from the pan that I used before, put like six or so slices in there, cut it up, saute some spinach, mix some eggs and cheese together in this, and yeah, I will keep you guys updated. And there, the bacon is cooking. I'm just going to add some egg whites, just a little bit. This is just from my HelloFresh. I'm going to add some shaved parmesan cheese, So now I'm just sauteing some spinach. Oh, we should have like added the bacon last so I could like evenly distribute it between the six things, but that's all right. Okay, so they don't look like a complete disaster, but next time I'll probably put the bacon in separately. So I just added a cherry tomato on top of each and I'll put it in the oven probably now, probably for about 10 minutes on 180 just until the um, egg cooks. So this is how they turned out. I will have some tomorrow for breakfast. I'm just going to put them in this container and then pop them in the fridge. Oh my god, guys. Guess what? They found the people that stole my makeup. I just got a call from the salon owner and the police called her and they said that they found this massive white truck at a house in Molendina, which is just a suburb on the Gold Coast, filled with makeup, nail stuff, crown brushes stuff like everything is apparently there so we're going tomorrow to see if it's like a hundred percent our stuff um and i guess taking whatever's ours but like to be honest like i don't really want to be taking back my makeup like i don't know what the hell they've done with it like i'll happily take back my ring light and like my makeup storage and all that stuff and some palettes that are limited edition that i cared about but other than that if it's all unused, I'll take it back, but like, I don't know if I'll want to take back all of my used makeup. Mm. 
I don't know yet. I'll see, but I'll try and vlog if I'm allowed to. Um, so you guys can see. Oh my god, I just cannot believe they caught them. Apparently they're going to be on the news tonight. Channel 9, 5 o'clock, even though this vlog will be up after. But I'll probably have a clip on it on my Instagram story after it goes live on the news. But holy shit, I can't believe it. I kind of lost hope last week because... Like, it's been about a week and, you know, usually stuff like that gets resolved a bit quicker. But, I know, I just kind of lost hope and I just, I don't know, just thought it'd be gone forever and, you know, started fresh. Um, I'm glad I've started fresh, though. It's just so, so refreshing to have all this fresh makeup and, like, you know, new brushes and stuff to work with. So, yeah, but... I'm just really keen to see who these people are and what they look like and it'd be really interesting to know if I've done their makeup before or if I recognize them. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'll vlog it. I was going to film tomorrow but that's obviously more important. Um, I'm going to F45 tonight. I'll bring my camera. I don't know if I'll end up filming. I might just like set it up somewhere and show you guys a little snippet of what F45 is all about. So yeah, I'm going to make some dinner to eat after yeah i think i'm gonna make those meatballs and zucchini noodles for dinner so i'll vlog me making that um but i won't do that till after f45 so i will speak to you guys later so i'm gonna make my dinner before f45 just so i don't have to cook it when i get home so i'll put you there for now All right, so I'm gonna make these meatballs. It's really hard to find tomato sauce for like bolognese and stuff with low carbs. So this one only has four grams of carbs per um, serving. It has three servings in it, and this is definitely like more than freaking three servings. This is probably like four servings of meals, um, and there's no sugar in this. I'm thinking I wanna put cheese inside the balls, but I don't know if that's gonna turn out to be a fail or not, so. Let's see how that goes, shall we? Just like remolding the balls with the cheese in the middle. Oh yeah, that kind of worked. So they are the meatballs. I did pretty much like three quarters of cheese and then a couple plain. Just for Vic if she wants some. After, I'm going to pop the zucchini noodles in the microwave. I'm pretty sure this serves two. Yep, this serves two. So I just added up the net carbs for this meal and it'd be around eight grams of carbs, which is quite a lot for a meal. But if you do have um, those leftover amount of carbs like in your macros, then you can definitely eat something like this. I usually try and stay under five grams of carbs per meal just so I can like evenly balance it, but I haven't really had that many carbs today. So eight grams is not going to like exceed my limit of carbs for the day. It's really hard to explain, but I'll make sure I explain it all in a sit down video. Um, just all about counting your macros and stuff because I'm only just starting to get my head around it. Um, but yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's so easy. Okay, I'm adding this in. Because that can was whole tomatoes, I've just cut them up. I've just put the temperature, well the, yeah, well the temperature of the stove down a bit and just let that simmer for like 10 to 15 minutes. I might season it with some salt and pepper. Um, what else? Probably like basil. Um, maybe some Italian herbs. Um, and I'll put some garlic powder in there too because I didn't add any garlic. Look how cool these tights are. I got them from a boutique in Burley. I'm just so obsessed. And this is Sasuke collection as well. And just my F45 singlet. So I'm off to F45 and I will see ya when I get home or tomorrow. Bye.
Here is my meatball and zucchini noodle. Oh, and a Pepsi Max because I feel a bit naughty and it doesn't have any sugar or carbs. Hey guys, today's the day. <laughs> today's the day I'm going to some random truck and picking up all my makeup that was stolen. <laughs> it's gonna feel so weird, but Sucked yeah. In. Apparently, um, the police raided the house where all like the stolen makeup was and they got a truck and just loaded it all on the truck so we're going to the truck now and seeing if like it is actually ours but i reckon it is because apparently there's heaps of like crown brushes and stuff there and they're the same people that robbed us so yeah vic's gonna try vlog it yeah if we're allowed to but surely yeah oh, i don't know actually could be like a crime scene um, banners around here. But yeah, we'll see if we can vlog it. If not, I'll let you guys know after. <laughs> oh my god, all my Australis. Thank God for all of that, seriously. I'm just going through everything now. Not everything I have back, but I'm just sorting it out now. But yeah, I'm so happy we found who took everything. What a day. Sorry, I look like the biggest mess, but I'm going to fill you in on what happened. So the cops messaged Cass, who's the owner of the salon. He said that the cops had found the house where all the makeup was in. Uh, Renee Hart and Dylan something but i posted them on my story i'll put a photo here if you guys want to see they just look like an innocent young couple they have a daughter so basically what the police did was they raided their house with a massive truck and they took everything that was inside their house and loaded it on a truck and then they've taken it to a warehouse called up all the salons that had been robbed and we all just went today and just picked out everything that was ours there was so much shit there like i was just like I could not believe it. There was a few acrylic makeup storage things that weren't there and just like bits and pieces um, that were mine that weren't there. We spent maybe like two hours going through all these boxes because like there'd be other makeup artists makeup kit but then there'd be some of my palettes in there and some of my like eyeliners or brushes just randomly scattered in these random boxes so we had to go through every single box. Um, which took ages and then I just put it all in my car and took it back to the salon. So yeah, the robbers I think went to court today um, I hope they get locked up but like the fucked up thing about it is I don't think they will because she's pregnant and like That just annoys the fuck out of me because they do not deserve to get away with this at all And you know what the fuck thing about it is like I swear I've seen this photo before I've seen all or I've seen her face somewhere. I don't think I've done her makeup because I did go through her Facebook and like I didn't recognize like that I did her makeup or anything like that because sometimes I do like to like go onto my clients profiles or whatever and just have a look at like photos from like the events that they've attended from when I did their makeup so I didn't really notice any of the photos that I did her makeup on but like I swear I've seen that photo somewhere or I've just seen her head so I'm just like trying to think where I've seen it or maybe I'm just imagining things and I think it's someone else. But I'm just so glad that they got caught and I have the majority of my stuff back. I probably won't be using the majority of my makeup. I'll probably either give it away um, or throw it in the bin just because I don't really feel comfortable like using makeup that someone's stolen and like touched i don't know i'm just weird with that sort of stuff but obviously i'll keep all of my unused stuff like all my mac foundations and stuff like all my backups uh, I'll, I'll take all them my brushes i'll give away to my friends and stuff because i've got all new brushes now but other than that oh my god what a day i'm so happy like it's such a relief that i have all of my there are some palettes that I couldn't find like in the warehouse um, they're probably still there but I couldn't like I spent so long there's just like a few palettes that I was trying to find but I couldn't um, yeah some of my Anastasia ones I couldn't find I think there was like three or four that I couldn't but other than that the majority of my stuff was there so thank god this is gonna be an eventful weekly vlog because I literally didn't have anything planned this week I was just gonna go with the flow but yeah um, so I'll speak to you guys later. 
Good morning, everyone. Well, not really good morning. Good afternoon. Um, I just worked this morning. Just did a Princess Polly haul on my Instagram story. Um, I try to fast for 15 hours, so this is going to be my first meal. You know how I made those um, quiche things? Well, not quiche things, but like bacon and egg things. I'm going to have two of those. not going to lie, I probably would just rather like make fresh bacon and eggs every day because they, I don't know, they didn't taste the best. But that's them. I'm going to put two in the microwave and... I don't even know if I'm going to have coffee. I'm trying not to have coffee. Like, ever since I've started this diet, I've been having coffee, like, every day. And I never used to. So, yeah, I'm going to try and cut back on that. And then I'm going to get my eyebrows threaded. Then I need to go pick up my travel makeup case that I ordered. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my God. This jacket is so comfy. I feel like I'm so, like, late to the bandwagon getting it. Because I feel like everyone has it. It's the IMG -er. Pixie jacket. Is that like supposed to happen? I will speak to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just got back from F45 and I'm thinking of making some low carb enchiladas, but instead of wrapping it in like, I don't know if it's like tortilla, I'm gonna use cabbage. I saw a recipe on Facebook, so I will. I'll try and add like the little video here so you guys can see, but I'm really intrigued and I have all the ingredients, so may as well um, cook it for dinner so I can have it for the next few days as well. My roommate's actually like in the lounge watching a movie, so I probably won't speak throughout it, but I'll make sure I film um, all the steps um, into making the dish. So yeah, I'm gonna go and have a shower now and start making it, so enjoy. Good morning, it is Thursday. I need to get a new camera because this is munted. Um, so I woke up early today, and by early I mean eight o'clock. I usually like wake up at 10, I know it's so bad. Um, but I got up early to film a video, actually two videos. I filmed my boob job update and a makeup tutorial. Um, I haven't had anything to eat yet. I just had a coffee this morning. So I'm gonna make Probably gonna make bacon and eggs to be honest. I don't really like those quiche things that I made I would just rather make fresh eggs and bacon every day even though it's a little bit of a mission, but oh well um, I'm gonna go and get to my mom a Mother's Day present. She's always wanted that thin Gucci belt so I was like fuck it, I'm gonna go and buy it because yeah, she would love it, I think. I'm gonna go to my grandma's and visit her. Um, and yeah, I don't really have that much planned for the rest of the day except for that. Um, I'm gonna F45 tonight. 
Tomorrow I have a few clients, so I'll bring my vlog camera along. So yeah, I will speak to you guys later. Just wanted to give you a quick update on my hair because heaps of you guys have been asking how it's going. To be honest, it just feels like my real hair, like just my hair from my head. Like it's not heavy, it's not a burden, it's, it's amazing and you can't see the bands. Like I've had so many compliments on them thinking that it's my real hair and I'm like, nope, it's extensions. They're like, what the hell? It looks so natural. I have had a few questions asking how I tied up for the gym though. So I'm going to sit this here. Oh, probably not there actually. Sit it here and show you guys how I tied up for the gym. So don't mind my outfit. But basically, I just freshly washed and curled my hair. I just put it up in a low ponytail. I use these hair ties to tie up my hair so my hair doesn't kink. So this is all I do. Put it up like that three times. Tighten it up a bit. And that is literally what I do when I go to the gym and you can't see any tapes whatsoever. You can even put it up in a high pony, but I just prefer because my hair is always down and it always just sort of sits like this. I don't usually like feel the need to put it up, but I'll show you guys what it looks like up. So that's what it would look like in a high pony. Literally cannot see any tapes at all. I just thought I would show you guys what I would do to my hair when I go to the gym because I've had some questions. I literally don't know how I lived without these extensions because they've literally changed my hair game. Like I'm so obsessed with it. Good morning. It is Friday today. I have a couple of clients in the salon. I will bring my vlog camera along with me. Um, other than that, I don't have anything on for the day except I do have my um, boob job three month update with my doctor this afternoon. Um, not doing anything tonight because I have work tomorrow. Makeup artist life. So I'll probably just like spend the night in editing videos. Um, but yeah, my skin's kind of like clearing up. I have absolutely no makeup on right now. Like my forehead has like really cleared up. It was really bumpy before and now it's really smooth. Thank God. I'm gonna go make breakfast now and then pack my makeup case. Oh, actually that's what I wanted to do. Organize my travel makeup case and then film a video for you guys because so many people requested a what's in my freelance kit video. So that is coming to my YouTube very soon. So I will speak to you guys later. So I just got to the salon. I'm about to do a bridal trial, but I'll show you guys my kit so far. This is all the stuff that I basically got back. So they're basically all the palettes that I have left, except for a few over there. That was like full before, but I'm not sure if this is in focus or not. I got my new brushes. These are the foundations I typically use in my kit. I'm just packing my kit for a wedding on Sunday, but I'm also gonna film what I have in my kit as well for you guys. Um, all my storage and stuff is from eToil Collection. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of unpacking everything and just getting ready for my client. So I'll make sure I um, film a before and after for you guys. Sunday today. I've got to be quiet because my roommate's sleeping. Um, I'm off to do a wedding. So I'm thinking of ending this vlog here just because I want to make a whole new wedding vlog. 
I might flip this around, it's getting a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this weekly vlog here and make a separate vlog for the wedding. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Oh my God. From thinking that it's gonna be boring to what's happened this week is crazy. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you wanna see more weekly vlogs and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. You are fool's girl.